valuing what you've got. This is something nobody really pushes these days. Um, the family unit is the most important thing you'll have in your life. Um, the reason being, if it's bad at home, it affects your work life, so your work life will never be great. If it's good at home, it has a positive impact on your work life, which means your life and general well-being is good. The ultimate thing, though, is that you have a happy uh, home life because everything reflects. Why do you go to work? Um, we were hunter gatherers, so your work is the hunter gathering. What's the point if there's no home to come to? And this is why myself, I quit my job. Um, I can't really go into it at the moment because there's other stuff coming up politically. Um, but the fact is, it's been very difficult for me to have a family life uh, with stuff that certain individuals have thrown in the works to make it very difficult for me to go home. Um, so what's my alternatives? I can either be the slave to the company or say, right, I'm worth more than this because it comes down to two things, how much I value myself and how much I value my family. Well, the first thing is my family are everything. Um, the company obsession with the fact that you oh what will you what about getting another job i couldn't care less I, I survived in the third world for god's sake financially i can find money i can make money um they have missed the whole point of the ability to generate cash because the average person allows companies to do that slowly push you down right to the bottom um, they devalue everything so don't get into it if a company's devaluing you turn around and say well fair enough you don't want me here lay me off because you know when you bring that up in a very direct manner like that it's unconfrontational but at the same time, it catches people off guard. It's like, well, if you don't want me here, just lay me off. And they're like, what do you mean? Because they, they're expecting you to just go, what, what would you like? What would you like? So <laughs> the fact is, you will survive. It doesn't matter what happens in the world or anything else, which is like my previous video about the getting disconnected from the media it, um, life goes on you will survive and the whole point of um, getting on in life I'll tell you now myself when I go back to Spain I'm spending time with my family the kids start school which allows me to actually study finish my college course and actually look at developing some developments for Android uh, for some ideas I've been working on. Now, I'm not being funny, but that bit just with the Android, if it takes off, will be enough for me to retire on. When you're in work, you don't have that opportunity. They don't give it to you. They don't want you having ideas. They want you to be under the thumb. They want you busy with what they want, not what you need or what you want in life. So what I would say is just take a look in the mirror. Are you happy with where you are and where you want to and uh, look at where you want to be? Are you there now? Are you getting there? What's stopping you getting there? Are these false things? Because um, sometimes it's insecurity. I've seen it in the UK where people won't even go on holiday because they're worried about losing their jobs. My point being is keep the job, it's not worth it. Um, and I know some of these guys are going, oh, it's easy for you to say. It's like you're making yourself a slave, nothing else.
If you are that worried about your work and your job, you have no life. You've given it away. You've sold yourself. Um, doesn't mean you have to make an immediate decision. Do what I do. I educate myself out of spots. I will educate myself on Android. I will educate myself on Visual Basic because there is a lot of demand for that in the field I'm on. Um, I will find a way. I'll even do teaching English as a second language because I could be a teacher in the worst case scenario. Um, you don't let people close your book. Companies don't generally appreciate people. Um, the company I'm with at the moment has a lot of, uh, what do you call it? The nepotism. There's no way of getting away from it. It's not illegal. But at the same time, I'm just, it's not for me. You know, for me, I, I appreciate people and what they do. I have no interest in who they're related to or anything else. Um, because nepotism is like a cancer on a business. But the the fact is, you well, you end up losing all the best talent. Because if you've got no hope of getting promoted because your boss is, uh, boss's daughter just got married and they're now looking for a position for the new son-in-law. Mm, I wonder what job they're going to get. Oh, the one above you. Um, that's normal doesn't mean I'm bitter about it um, I do think it should be a legal mind <laughs> um, but either way you can either sit there and go oh I'm not happy about it it's unfair or I just go you know what I don't want to be here I've got better things to do in my time but the whole point is you need to develop yourself now it doesn't matter how smart you think you are. There is stuff that you're good at that you're probably not even aware of. Um, what I would ask is you ask somebody else if they could say what you're... Well, let's just say top three things that you're good at, what would they be? And then go and research what those skills could develop into. Um, let me know. All right, thanks for watching.